never slow up No, I don't take shit, I got no love But the fake is if you wanna play tough and wanna hate Okay, and I'm back for what will be part, I believe, 15, if I'm not mistaken, of Can I Get Good with Elden Ring. That is the Carrion or whatever the hell castle that guy was talking about. I'm going to try to probably avoid that for now because I don't want to get sidetracked. Our number one mission here is to open up the farming spot for Vary, And I know that I have to get the blood of a maiden, and I did look it up. And the Blood of the Maiden should be, I think, if I'm not mistaken, in this church area thing or ruin right up here. Um, if it's not, then we'll have to revisit that. But I may have uh, I may have been mistaken, but I'm pretty sure that's where it's at. Uh, the path we're going to take is we're going to try to squeak around this castle, come up through this area, which it looks like this possibly goes across, I'm guessing. Uh, we're going to try to squeak past this up into here and then around uh, this away. And that seems like a plan. <laughs> so that's, that's the plan. So we're going to try that. So we're just going to go ahead and get rolling. I'm not going to waste a lot of time goofing with us. Oh! Okay, so that must be the trap that he was talking about. Okay. Okay, goodness, all right, well. Okay. That hit me here. Oh, and I got dismounted. Oh, but look what I got there. I'll take it. And now every single shred of my minor ADD is telling me I need to go right in there. <laughs> And I am going to resist and come around this area. All right, I can call my torrent back. All right, I still hear the traps going off. Oh, some fellas there. I'm gonna avoid them. All right, so this looks like it might be. Uh, that's a, looks like part of the castle. That's looking like I'm getting to the edge, or the end here. Okay, uh... Well... Let's see if this crosses. Okay, oh wait, oh, I know what this is. Where'd it go? I hear it. Oh, there it is. All right, I know what these things do. And I'm going to wait for you, my friend, right here. Now, these things are uh, little, like, invisible scarabs that you can smack around. <clears throat> I missed it. Okay. You just got to time it, I guess, when it comes to you. You got to time it and hit it. And then I think, if I'm not mistaken, it gives you, like, an Ash of War or something. There we go. Nice. Uh, Horfrost Stomp. Okay, and I am going to take a quick peek at that. Ash of Wars are... Oh, there they are. Oh, here we go. Grants affinities and skills to the armament. This is a cold. All right, so now I'm assuming this does some kind of frost, right? Hopefully, um, Ash of Grants uh, armament. The cold affinity and the following skills for frost stomp. Uh, stomp hard to spread a trail of freezing mist on the ground. This mist applies the frost status effect. All right, so now I'm not trying to be a mathematician with this, but I know that the frost, this weapon is a bleed. Now, I'm not sure if I change it to a cold if it's not going to be a bleed anymore, but it's a bleed now, which applies a bleed uh, proc. If I get this to an affinity of cold with this or frost stomp, it'll apply the frost thing, which allows me to get a higher, I think it's like 10 or 20% uh, damage uh, increase. So I, I don't know if that affects my magic spells, but we're going to say it does if something's got a frost debuff on them. So I think what I'm going to do is probably put that affinity on this weapon, the, the Morningstar, and then see how that affects my magic spells when they hit. Hopefully they'll hit a little bit harder. 
Okay, so we have... All right, so that crossing that I'm looking for, I... Oh, uh, wait a minute. Uh, maybe? Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, so it does cross. That's good for me. Uh, so, yeah, so... I'm hoping with all of that, I can do a... Uh, I can do quite a bit more damage. Okay, so that is the gate that we were looking at. That is the area right up there, which is where we're hoping to squeak around and get up to that area up there, which I believe is where the maiden is at. Okay. Oh, can I make it? Oh, make it, make it. Oh, he made it, yes. Uh, okay, so there's a Grinch guy there. Oh, that's cool. Let's see what he's got. I only got 411 runes, but... What do you need? I don't want any trouble. No trouble, buddy. All right, so he's got uh, rune arcs, and I don't know if I looked those up yet or not. Uh, temporarily boost immunity to what? Uh, I am going to guess, because it's green, it's to poison. And I'm going to say that's for um, Scarlet Rot, and that's for maybe Frost or something, I guess. This is a uh, tree branch blessed with an incantation of... Oh, okay, so you can, like, uh, you can charm, it looks like, like, maybe charm some critters. A cookbook here. I know I'm going to have to eventually get myself a bow that I can use. Because it's part of the, uh, oh, that's cool looking. Uh, it's part of the, uh, the farming thing. They say you need a bow. So I have a crossbow. I don't know if that'll do it, but, uh, yeah, that's red on that one. It needs a strength 15 and dex 15. So we'll have to revisit that. And I'm sure if I would have just listened and grabbed, uh, the items that I needed earlier in the game, I'm assuming that wouldn't be an issue. Okay. What is this? Okay. Oh, is this the, uh, let me check my thing. Oh, no. This is a different area because where I need to go is up that way. All right. Bellum Church. Okay, so, oh, there's a side of grace, and I will take it. Okay, and, oh, and there is a uh, sacred tier, I believe. Thank you, and see if I've got what I need to upgrade my flasks. And I do. That'll work for me. Yes, thank you. Let me check on my allocation. Okay, my allocation is still, I think that's fair. Um, I'm going to look at my spells again, because... Some of these I wasn't a big fan of. You see, Glintstone Pebble, well, well, you know, I don't think I've tried that one. This one I tried, and I'm still not a fan of. I don't, I would like to try those bubble ones, but I'm, I'm missing some, um, what am I missing? Arcane, 15, uh, several small magic bubbles. You know what, I'm not even entirely certain. I'm going to go ahead and leave this the way it is right now. Just in case I come up against somebody with a shield, I can just hopefully pop off a... Alright, so this is the way to the church. Or the ruins. Or whatever it is I have to get up there for the maiden. I think it's up there. Oh my god, what is that? Oh, no, 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 run, 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 run. What the hell was that? What in the hell was that? That looked like it might have been like a catap... Oh, catapult right there. All right, well... <laughs> it looks like we're going to have to take the uh, long way around, I guess. Okay, so this is up by the gates. This is the area that I want to come to, so I'm guessing this might be working right. Let's see here. This is... Uh, yeah, I wanted to come up this way and then around that way. Oh, shit. Shoot, okay. Well, at least I didn't die. Alright. 
I'm gonna guess. Oh, what is that? I hear a whole bunch of stuff. I do not like the sound of any of that. It sounds like the damn rats. Oh, there's a shiny there. Okay, I hear some kind of. Oh. Oh my god, okay. Oh yeah, okay, so big eye in the sky is bad. Oh, big eye in the sky is bad. Uh, oh, heal. Oh my god, okay. Uh, now I gotta figure out this. Okay, we got the ISR on in the freaking uh, Elden Ring, so that's great. Oh, wow, that sucked. Okay, um... Okay, it's up there somewhere. Oh, there's a shiny. And I hear rats everywhere. Okay, um... Do I just have to stay out of sight of that thing, or what? Oh, that's, I think that might be the church I gotta go to. Or that's a tower. Is that a tower? I think that's a tower. Where the hell is that place at? Oh, there's the ISR. Oh, he got me. Um. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh. Okay, so big rat. Big, big, big rat. Alright, I gotta be careful. So I think I see how this works. So when that little thing lights up and does its little ISR on thing. Um, where am I at? Okay, let me... Um, I don't know sure what I'm supposed to do here. Um, let me... Oh, gosh. I don't even know how many runes I had just dropped, but let me... Okay, so I'm going to go back around there, maybe approach that just a little... Uh, okay, screw these guys. Approach that and it's... I don't know. That's kind of strange. There's a... Looks like several rats. The big one is... The one I imagine I gotta be scared. You know what I should have done was probably put that uh, that that uh, new uh, is it an affinity affinity no uh, actual war. Okay, so this is am I in the right spot here? This is oh uh, I think I mean it went the wrong way. Oh no, there's the catapults. Oh my god. Okay, there's a bunch of them. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, big rat, big rat, big rat. Oh, little rats. <laughs> oh my god, they're everywhere. Okay, um, we gotta go. Oh, here's that thing. Where's he? Oh, where's he at? Okay. Uh, run, 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 run. Yeah, yeah, that's right up there. It's gonna get me again, isn't it? Okay. Okay, so as long as you stay out of sight of it, it looks like it, uh, looks like it doesn't get you. Okay, um... Oh, boy. Um... I wonder if I can get... Okay, got him. I don't know if this is going to help. Uh, oh, this guy is freaking no joke. Okay, I gotta get over here. Oh, it got me anyway. Oh, it got me anyway. Okay, I think I got the strategy here. I just gotta get... Uh... Oh, I lost my runes. I have no idea how many runes that was, but that sucks. Okay, I think I got it now. Uh, 
Oh, this just makes me want to drink more, and that ain't a good idea. Fucking rats. If I have to spend the next 30 hours of my life doing this shit, it's going to happen. I am willing to take that damn tower one way or another. The only way you get good at this game is by dying, apparently, so I've gotten dying down to almost the perfect science. Actually, at this point, I don't care about the rest of the game. I care about that one tower. The entire Elden Ring world, from Soft, Miyazaki, whatever that fuck that guy's name is that creates this game, can all die in a fiery damn train crash. I want this one tower. That's all I want. I can quit the game after this and be completely satisfied if I get the one tower. Uh, unless the rats were a thing. I killed everybody in that area, and that tower is still active and firing off madness like no one's business. So, after the horribly frustrating, ungodly, obscene amount of time I spent trying to do that, and the countless deaths doing it, I'm going to fairly assume that that tower is a static debuff. And you just have to try to get around it and get to spots where you can, uh, you know, shelter yourself from the madness that is the, uh, the madness <laughs> that is that tower. Yeah, so, yeah, I've done everything I can think of to do this, and I'm guessing you just can't turn that sucker off. And, of course, take a nice one right in the rear end for it. So, what I'm going to try to do is uh, I'm going to try to see if by killing everything in the area, uh, all the little frenzied mice and uh, all the little uh, critters upstairs, if this is going to help me actually defeat this tower. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run around. I'm going to try to see if I can jump on the ladder, if I can take the mice out from the first floor, kind of sneak upstairs and see if I can take out the guys from the second floor. If all of that, if all of those are dead and it still doesn't work, well then uh, I'm going to assume that this is a static debuff mechanic and I'm just going to let it go. Uh, let me go. 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 Oh, that hurt. Okay. So now what I'm going to try to do is get these guys from up here if I can with there we go all right you know what all right I see you guys you're all gonna die Okay, so that guy's dead. There we go. I'll take that. All right, so the next part will be killing these guys up here without getting the madness thrown on me. And I can't reach them, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm going to stick and move. All right, and we'll go. We're going to stick and move, so kill this guy here maybe and then we're gonna jump back down here into this corner oh we can get to the corner nope we got hit with the madness anyway all right climb up here kill the next guy okay kill this guy and then jump down here. Oh, no, 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 jump down. All right. So we got a little bit of madness. We'll take care of that. Take care of this. 
Uh, come back up here. Come back down here. Wait for the next round. Oh, are you serious? Is that what it was? I had to kill the rats and all these guys. Is that what it was? You know something? I'm going to call this a tremendous victory <laughs> with 365 runes. <laughs> that's, that's my my uh, ultimate booty. So let's see here. Uh, okay. All right. So for whoever's playing it, if you really get obsessed like me and you're an absolute um, OCD and ADD person like I am, then yeah, it's clearing this tower. It will be, seem like the biggest victory of your life. Uh, what I did, or what seemed to work, was I killed the rats at the bottom, and then I came to the top, and there was these uh, worshippers, monks, whatever you want to call them. They were praying, and I killed all of them, and then the whacked out uh, large area debuff, madness debuff, just went away. So, again, I'm not entirely certain how that's going to benefit me, or it's going to advance the storyline of the game. But, it's done. And the gratification that I feel now is immense. So now, I guess the next thing to do would be to go to this area, which is our number one. And that is where? That is in that direction there, which was <laughs> not even the area where we needed to be for this. Okay, so that looks like that could be up top. So let's see here. I uh, know I'm going to run into more of those stupid rats. Okay, so maybe around there. Um, all right. Okay, so it looks like... Oh! Wow, gosh, I wish I'd have known this. Boy, that would have been a lot closer to that tower than... Oh, okay, whatever. You know something? Now I know. All right, so... It looks like we have to go up and around, so I'm going to imagine we got to go through here. Okay, oh, uh, can't tell if there's, no, these don't look like terribly good people. All right. Oh, let's see if I do a drive-by on this one. Oh, drive-by. Uh, okay, so we're going to go around, and our, our deal is over here. So, uh, if this if this church is like all the other ones, or this ruin, okay, it looks like a church, then, uh, oh, there's a the guy right there. I have to just get there, and, oh, here we go again. What well, Now what? Okay, I'm going to run, because uh, there should be a grace inside this church. I have no idea why I got, ah, uh, that's why I got dismounted. Run, 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 invaded by a uh, fingerprint, whatever the hell he is. Okay, there is my... I will take you, thank you very much. And I will rest. Oh, I got you, sure. Oh, no, oh my god, okay, goodness, 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 goodness. Oh, another one of these madness assholes. Oh, run, 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 Oh, these guys, this guy is just avoiding everything now. Alright, you want some of this? Take some of that, oh. Eat one of those, and he's avoiding that too. Great. Alright, 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 alright. Well, okay, well, eat it. Jesus! Well, it's ironic that I'm going after the, um... Uh, the quest line for the, uh... It sucks. Uh, I'm going for the quest line for the uh, for the farming. It's just it's great, absolutely great. Okay, so that's my grace. I'm guessing this is my stupid maiden. Oh, thank you, finger maiden, for the uselessness. Uh, dye the cloth. Yes, thank you very much. Gosh, darn it, man! This is something that is about enough to piss a person off, man. All right. Uh, now I think we go back to Bari guy, and then we're supposed to get the final piece of what we need to get to the area where we're supposed to be able to get 
this awesome farming spot. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to grab myself at least 10 levels. What are you? Oh, nothing. Okay. I know I'm going to get at least 10 levels. And I'm going to go... Oh. Yeah, I'm going to... I'm probably going to fast forward through most of this misery that I just went through. So you don't have to experience my frustration and most of the uh, psychotic raging I was doing while I was... Uh, Experiencing one death over and over and over again. Gotta go west. But yeah, that was uh, that was actually horribly, horribly brutal. And it was really, I don't really think it, it really amounted for much of a game, other than shutting off a uh, a whacked out madness uh, debuffing system. Probably could have avoided it, I'm sure. But let's see what he's got now. Lambkin, you've completed your final trial, and with this, you are a formal inductee, a knight who will assist Luminary Moog, the Lord of Blood, in the establishment of a new dynasty. Now, give me your finger. This noble blood will be an immutable badge of honor once it settles inside of you. Um, we got, I, I could just got dad jokes for that as well. This is the last part. I think he gives me some kind of thing so I can teleport to an area where the farm is. And again, the farming I'm going to leave out of this. I'll, I'll farm up and do whatever levels that I think are appropriate for the area that I'm in. And then I'll, uh, I'll continue forward. A uh, bloody finger. I'll take it. That feeling of agony. For it is what binds you to Luminary Moog, to all of us. <laughs> I can tell you, perseverance yeah, is success in this dream. game. You know, you, you can get as mad as you want, but uh, it's just perseverance. Oh, just keep coming no. back and doing it. You should have this. All right, so this must be the thing. That, okay, so this is uh, Pure Blood Knight's Metal. I think this A is the item. Granted by the new I think this is what gets us to the farming area. audience with Luminary Moog, I've gone out of my way to provide one to you. But you mustn't use it just yet. Oh, pal, I'm using it. Until the Moogwin dynasty commences, Luminary Moog yet slumbers beside the divinity. We must endure a little longer. Yeah. All right. Ah, it is trying. But we must be patient. One day you will be elevated, deservedly, basking in love. Right, my lambkin? My lambkin. <laughs> ah, it is trying. Okay. Day, right, my lambkin. All right, so that's a repeat. All right. All right, so, you know, something as, as, as horribly aggravating as that was, and I... Obviously, by looking at it now, I probably could have avoided that whole entire tower and gone straight to the <laughs> to that church. Uh, in retrospect, I should have done that, but it's I'm, I'm sorry. It's just it's I, those are the kind of weird things that drive me. I just had to beat that one tower. Uh, eventually, did so. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cut it off here. Uh, there's going to be a lot of editing for this video, and uh, we'll pick it up again. I think in the next video, we're going to go ahead and go to that dynasty place, the Mog dynasty place. And then we'll go ahead and find that farming spot and get ourselves a few levels. So thanks very much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit.